Hello everyone and welcome to my disappointing Panda's Eyeshadows update. I don't know what update it is, it is my progress from March and sadly I just I had eczema on my eye most of the month so I couldn't wear powder eyeshadows so I expected this update to be bad and I just got extremely overwhelmed and behind in my school and lectures so I really wasn't wearing much makeup at all. I mean I wore makeup like six times this month which is pretty bad for me. I'm gonna try and make next month better but I also want to adjust this project a little bit to make it better working for me because I realized as a student I'm not necessarily forced to wear makeup. I mean no one's forced to wear makeup every day but I'm sitting at home and there's really no reason most days that I need to go put on makeup so if I do put on makeup most of the times I want to play with something fun so I don't want to restrict myself with this project because the whole point was to just fall back in love with palettes but I almost feel like when I put something in a project I feel kind of like turned off by that palette and I don't even want to use it like some of my favorite palettes are in this rotation and I don't even want to reach for them because they're in here if that makes sense so I want to adjust it a little bit it's like everyone's project is their own way and also it's going to change for me in the fall when I go back to in-person classes I don't wear super dramatic makeup so it's gonna have to change a little bit, but for right now I'm going to make minor adjustments, but let's get into my progress. The first palette is the ColourPop Mandalorian Right Hand Mando shade. This palette has been in here from the beginning and I'm finally just deciding to roll it out. I used it 12 times, I didn't use it last month, but I just am not in the mood for these colors right now. It's this gray right here. I did really enjoy having it in here and I could force myself to wear it, but I'm just not in the mood for this color story. I still really like this palette and I like that I have a little bit of dip on that shade and I did really fall in love with it and got to do a bunch of looks with this palette but I'm just I'm not feeling like you're chicken for it anymore I used it 12 times which is good enough for me so I'm gonna roll it out this is what it looks like I mean I literally didn't <laughs> I didn't use it this month but I have a little bit of a dip nothing crazy I don't have pan but I'm just going to roll it out just because I I'm kind of over it and it's my project and I decided if I'm over a shade or a palette I am just going to roll it out. Next is the freaking Natasha Nona Tropic palette. I've used this shade 10, 20, 32 times. It has no progress and from this project I just realized I'm just super light-handed with my shadows and if I wasn't, I think I would have already hit pan on this. I just am so light-handed. I literally just like baby tap and that's it. This is what it is looking like. You can see like maybe the smallest dip, but mainly just like see marks from my brush. There is really not much of a dip in here and this palette is gonna last me forever, but I just, <laughs> I'm just rolling it out. I've used it 32 times, which I said I would let myself roll it out after 30 times, which I can roll it out whenever I want but 32 times is a lot to use that one shade I mean it was a matte brown but upon using it it's a lot more like warm and yellow than I thought so I haven't been loving it with all of my looks I could keep it in but like it's been in here since January I've used it 32 times I'm ready to roll it out so was a nice shade I'm glad I got my use out of it but man these shadows are so hard to pan so I am going to roll that one out and then the next two shades came from my Pat McGrath quad and this is where the disappointing stuff happens the pink shade I used one time and the light shimmer shade I used twice this is my Flora Fantasia quad and this is the case where this is one of my favorite palettes but because it's in this project I have not been drawn to use it so it's this pink shade right here which I mean you can see that my fingers been in there and I have now used this twice so I doubled my use on it and then this light shimmer I actually don't love on the inner corner and yeah so <laughs> really bad usage on this I still think I will get use out of this palette um I've been loving using that purple whenever I pull for this because it's springtime and I think I will use it more I like this light pink shimmer but I don't really love this like champagne -y shimmer I don't know I don't really love it so I think I'm just gonna roll this one out it's not that I won't reach for it it's just like I'm only gonna use it when I reach for this quad so I probably will see progress in it I just it's kind of a weird shade it's not my favorite it's like a champagne -y pink shade that I don't really know how to describe 
I don't know. It'd be pretty as a highlight, I guess. I put it really sheerly. Actually, whatever. I'll keep it in. Um, so I will just keep it in because I'll just force myself to do makeup more. It is a pretty shade and I literally haven't used it enough to give a thought on it. So I'm going to keep those two shades in and I will swatch them really quickly. So this is the light shimmer shade. It looks like that. It could honestly be pretty as a highlight probably. And then this is the pink shade, which is a little bit more impactful. And it's a little bit more sheer in its base. Really pretty color. What I did with this palette was I put this peachy shade in the crease. I put this shimmer on like from the middle to the outer edge of my eye. And then the lilac on the inner portion of my eye. And then just this shimmer on the inner corner. I don't know why I'm struggling with talking, but... It was so pretty. I, I copied that look from my friend at Jessica's beauty journal on Instagram and it was so pretty and I really liked it. So I do want to reach for this more for spring. So I'm going to keep that one in there. And then the next palette, where did it go? The next one is the Natasha Denona bronze. It's the shade Alloy, which is a bright yellow. I used this one twice. Um, I did use it on its own once and then in conjunction with the shade Bliss. Um, and it's like a really bright yellowy shade. I honestly think it might be pretty doing some look with these two shimmers together. I'm going to keep this one in because I do still want to use the bronze palette more. I just need to wear makeup more because when I put it in the project, I'm like, okay, I don't want to reach for the palette anymore. But I do want to and I want to find how I can do a very approachable like looks with this palette because a lot of the times when I use this, it becomes very like glam and dark and intense on my very fair skin so yeah i want to try using this palette more it doesn't have much use with two i have like the little finger imprint in there you can see it like on some of these shimmer shadows but aloe is a pretty soft shade um i'm going to change my usage to 10 for all of these shadows because it's a lot better for me while still getting to use other things. I'm not the type of person where I want to do the same thing every day. I used to be when I wore barely any makeup, but now that I'm doing looks, I just want to do different things. So I'm going to I'm gonna do 10 and see how that works for me. But that is what the shade Alloy is looking like. Really no progress there, but I just want to get a nice dip going. And I think I will get a nice dip with 10 uses. So I'm going to keep that one in, which means... Time to roll for two new shades. I added two palettes to my collection, of course. Um, these were on sale from Viseart, so I added eight shadows in, and so I have one through 193. It might be a little messed up because I did do a declutter and I didn't update the spreadsheet, so I'll just see as I go. So the first number is 85, and the second number is 138. So let me go check and see what those are. Okay, so 138 was from my Natasha Nana Love Palette, and I think I'm going to re-roll this one because it's the shade Trust, which is a really deep purple, and I it's just not a shade that I can wear easily for every day, so I'm going to re-roll that one, although I got really excited because I do love this palette. And then 85 is from my Makeup by Mario palette. So I got the shade 8, which is this one right here, and I'm actually just going to pop it to number 4. I know it's against the rules, but it's the same palette, and this one will be a lot easier for me to use for every day. I think it's going to be a good replacement for Natasha Nena Sahara. It's just a good neutrally brown color. So let me swatch it for you. Um, I would take in number eight, but because I don't have a neutral matte, I might as well put in number four. So that's what that looks like. It's a little bit harder to swatch. It is nice on the eyes, though. I've used that shade a decent number of times because it's one of my favorite, like, everyday crease colors from this palette, and I'm excited to have this one in. I also will probably be focusing a lot on this brown shade down here. So next month, I probably will just show you that progress because I do use it on my brows, and I have a little bit of a dip. I don't know if you can see that there. So I will update you on how that one looks. This one, you can't really see any visual progress, but that's what that shade looks like. It's a little bit more neutral compared to the Tropic shade. So I think that'll go beautifully with these shades. And then I re-rolled and got the number 158, which is from my Divine Rose 2. I don't know why I grabbed Divine Rose 1. And I actually haven't used this one that much. So I'm excited to have this one in. And it's this one right here. I need to swatch this to make sure it's, do you hear this annoying creakiness out of this $130 palette? Um, it's that beautiful, you can't even tell. It's like a beautiful, reflective, like, it's like a fairy dust, toppery shade. So 
that'll be so pretty. I think then I do want to re-roll the, the graph at the top. I know I'm cheating all over the boards, but I, yeah, I just, I'll probably still use it every now and then, but it's very similar to the palette graph one I just rolled, and I'm more excited for this one, especially because I haven't used this palette much, and I got it pretty recently, and it was freaking expensive, so I hate the freaking creaking on here, but I am gonna roll a new one for that top shade. Okay, and then I rolled again, and I got a shade from my Natasha Nunana Gold palette, which is another new palette that I need to get use out of, and I got this shade Teak. Let me see how this compares, but it's like a darker brown, which I think will actually be nice to use. It looks so much darker swatched than it does in the pan. This is what it looks like in the pan. It's this one right here, and it's so much darker. But I think that'll be pretty to use in the outer corner with the Makeup by Mario palette. I kind of did a tiny little swatch, but it just is like a nice deepening shade. It'll go with really every look here. Um, I could always use it for a winged liner, but I think I will just use it in the outer corner. It looks deep and intimidating, but as you like blend it out, it's a little bit lighter. Normally what I do with this palette is I take this shade in the crease and this one lightly on the outer corner. So I'll do the same thing just instead of this shade, I'll use the Makeup by Mario palette. So finally got two mattes in here that I think I can use with every look and then three shimmers to kind of switch it up. So these are what my shades are. It's kind of hard to swatch the mattes, but a nice springtime appropriate palette and I'm really excited for these. Hopefully I will be wearing more makeup, but yeah, I'll show you guys the update in a month. Hopefully I can make some good progress. I don't think I will hit any pan. I have a Makeup by Mario palette I might keep in longer than 10 times. I will just kind of play it by ear by next month, but this is a really, really good stable palette because I will use a cream shade, the white shade, the crease shade, the brow shade. So this is gonna be a really good one. I think overall I'll get a lot of progress on this palette in general. And then I have two new palettes that I can play with and then one other that, or two other that have been in my collection that need a little bit more love. So really excited for this update minus my little cheats. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I have a playlist if you missed my other ones and you want to see those. I do have a few pans in those other videos, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.